welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be looking at exporting data from Python into Excel. So what we're going to do simply is import the pandas module and then we're going to be creating a data frame, a very small data frame, and then we're going to be um, exporting that small amount of data into an Excel file. So let's get started. So let me just zoom in, make it so that everyone can see very clearly import so the module module in question is pandas we're going to import pandas as pd next thing we're going to do is create our data frame so we're going to pd dot um data frame pd dot sorry let me think it's right data frame there we go and now we're going to create our data frame so we're going to use curly brackets for this and we're going to call it fruits. So I'm going to create a list of fruits and export that into Excel. So notice that you can use single quotes or double quotes, just so long as you use quotes for texts. So that fruit will be our title. And then next is for our list. So we have square brackets for this. And in the list, we have simply got a few fruits. <clears throat> and that is our data frame. Now, in order to write it to Excel, we're going to call that line of code data. And now we're going to access our Excel writer function in the pandas module in order to be able to do this. Please be aware that this runs in the background, so you won't know until, if this has worked until you actually go in and open the file. Um, it's not like something that opens and then closes as you're doing it. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate our Excel writer. So data to Excel equals, and then this is our Excel writer, pd.excel writer. And then type in the name of our file, which is called from Python. Dot, and we need the extension as well, so please make sure you use the extension. And now we're going to use the XLSX writer as our engine. And and so please be this file, this Excel file has to be in the directory which is recognized by Python. So where you export your file to, where they automatically go, that's where your Excel file has to be. So this is a, my file is here. So this is where all my um, tutorials are. And this is the Excel file in question. And notice it's called from Python. And then if you want to get the extension, right click properties and you get the extension here. So you have from python.xlsx. So that is where our file is. So if we open it up, we should see that it's blank. Can you see that? Yes. So you see here that it's blank. But if we close it, and then when we finish with this code and then run it, you'll see that it will have uh, the fruits list and have this list in there. So let's get back to the code. So we have activated our Excel writer. The next thing to do is to link our data to the Excel file. And that simply is called data dot to, to Excel is there. And then notice we've got all these arguments here. Very helpful potentially but we are just interested in our data and what sheet it is going to. And the next thing to do is to save the file. And that should be, should be finished, that is it. So all that's left to do is to run it and then check to see if it has worked. 
And you can see here, it has worked. So we have, and it's even um, indexed it for us. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 for our five items. Remember, Python always starts at 0. And you have fruit as our title here, and then recognize that as our title. And we've got a list of fruits here. So that is a great way of saving data from Python and then exporting it into Excel. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials uh, on my channel and subscribe if you like it. Thanks very much for watching.